Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be sharing the top 10 Chanel beauty essentials. Whether you're a luxury makeup lover, a Chanel collector, you're just starting to get into high-end products, or even if you're looking at Chanel for the very first time, wondering where to begin, this video is for you. These are 10 of my all-time favorite products. They're classics, top-selling SKUs. They've built up a real cult following from celebrities, makeup artists, just the general public. If I were to start from scratch and begin building my collection all over again, I would begin with these 10 products. The number one Chanel Beauty Essential is a skincare product, which might be somewhat surprising for some of you. If you're not really familiar with Chanel, then you probably don't know just how great their skincare really is. It's not what the brand is best known for, and they don't really market themselves as being this cutting edge technology brand with smart ingredients, when the reality is that Chanel skincare rivals the best of the best. I would say the best place to start is with a great cleanser. There are so many to choose from. My personal favorite is the L'Huile Cleansing Oil. There's also Le Mousse, which is a nice foamy cleanser, and then Le Lay is a nice balancing milky cleanser. It's also a really great price point. So $45, it's not too, too steep. They will last you such a long time. It really is a great way to kind of get into Chanel skincare. What I love most about the oil cleanser is that you can use it in the morning as the perfect way to balance the skin, prep for makeup, but this is great in the evening as well because it can be your first cleanse to remove all of your makeup, all of the dirt and debris from the day, and then you can go in with a second cleanser. Whatever your favorite cleanser is that you like to use, you can do that as well. But this is perfect because it won't strip your skin, it's nice and balancing, and I think this is pretty much great for everybody. The second Chanel Beauty Essential is the CC Cream. Absolutely everybody should own this CC Cream. Not any CC Cream, this CC Cream, and I'll tell you why. For one thing, it has SPF 50, which is incredible. It also is really high in hyaluronic acid, vitamin C. It has the perfect tint to help even out your skin tone. When it comes to preventing fine lines and wrinkles and anti-aging products, there are really two ingredients that everybody should live by. SPF in the day and retinol at night. So this is the perfect SPF for the daytime because you can use it if you're going to the pool, if you're going to the beach, if you're running errands, running out the door. But it's also a great primer underneath your foundation. So if you like a little bit more coverage, if you have any sort of problem with your skin, whether it be rosacea, post blemish marks, if you have an uneven skin tone, this helps color correct because that is truly its number one purpose. It's a CC cream to color correct your complexion. Think of the Chanel CC Cream as your last step of skincare, first step of makeup. It's sort of this perfect hybrid. So whether you're a skincare junkie or you don't have a lot of time for skincare, you love makeup, you hate makeup, this is the perfect product for you. It is for everybody. It protects, it hydrates, it gives you a little bit of coverage. What is not to love about this product? I remember when they reformulated, there was a lot of concern from people who were curious whether or not they would like this as much as the original CC cream. Well, in my personal opinion, they made it even better. Even if you don't find the perfect Chanel foundation, because I know that's a little bit trickier for a lot of people, try the Chanel CC cream. This is something that absolutely everybody should own. The next essential is the Soleil Tan de Chanel Cream Bronzer or the Makeup Base. The official title is Makeup Base and if you have more of a medium skin tone, you could use this as your primer beneath makeup. A lot of people will use it as their cream bronzer on top of makeup. So that kind of starts us off. It is a very versatile product. That's one reason to love it. Chances are, if you've never tried it, you probably have heard of it. I know people come into the store all the time and they'll say, I'm looking for the Chanel Soleil Tan. Da, da, da. They're, they're not really sure what they're looking for, but somebody they know uses it and they love it and they sent them in to check it out for themselves. This is one of those products that when I talk about a cult following, this has it. This is something that has been beloved by makeup artists for such a long time. It has skincare ingredients directly in the product itself. It will last you 
a very long time. You really have to work to use it up because it just lasts. It's one of those products that is the perfect investment. It is the most natural looking bronzer. Creams can sometimes be intimidating because people aren't really sure if it's going to blend properly. This is more of a gel cream consistency. It blends beautifully on the skin and it doesn't give an orangey glow. It's sort of the perfect sun-kissed glow. Summer is of course a great time to try out a new bronzer, but this is arguably a great year-round product because it is so emollient and it blends so beautifully. It gives the perfect natural bronze. I am running so low on my Soleil Jean de Chanel, but without any questions, I don't care how many powder bronzers I have in my drawer, I will restock this as soon as I run out because I just never wanna go without it. It really is one of the Chanel essentials. But if I had to choose one bronzer to wear for the rest of my life, this would be the bronzer I would choose. The next essential is the loose powder from Chanel. Historically, the Le Beige pressed powder has been considered a Chanel essential or a real classic staple item. But in practice, and I own them both, I grab this and I use this on a daily basis. Between the two, it's not best for travel. It's sort of bulky, so it sits on my vanity. But this is what I gravitate towards always. Even though the Le Beige Press Powder is also sheer, it also goes on very beautifully and silky smooth, this Universal Loose Powder is just the perfect setting powder. And I think it's also a really great price point. It's $52, I believe, for this giant tub of powder versus something like, let's say, the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, which is a cult favorite as well. I think it retails for about $44. This lasts twice as long and it looks at least three times better. It never looks cakey or powdery on the skin. If you love loose powder or you love powder, this is perfect for you. If you're one of those people who hates powder, this is the perfect powder for you. But it's always nice to have a good setting powder with no luminosity that's just going to give you that perfect coverage that is this. The next essential goes hand in hand with the Soleil Tan de Chanel Cream Bronzer. It's the Soleil Tan de Chanel Sheer Illuminating Fluid. This is another one of those products that is simply beloved by many. A lot of celebrities use it, Kim Kardashian uses it. That may or may not mean anything to you. But the point is that people with the best of the best, with all of the options in the world, still rely on the sheer illuminating fluid from Chanel to make their makeup look as beautiful as possible. It gives the perfect amount of glow. It's soft and subtle enough, but it also has a little bit of a pop. It's going to make you look luminous. It's gonna give you that healthy, vibrant skin that most everybody is looking for. This is another very versatile product because you can mix this into your foundation, one of my favorite flawless face hacks. You can mix it into your concealer, which is my ultimate secret. And then you can also dab a little bit on top of your foundation as a liquid highlighter. When I was creating my list of Chanel essentials and thinking about all of the incredible products offered by Chanel, there were a few things that I really love, but I simply couldn't add. And I thought for a second about leaving this off until I realized how absurd that would be. And that is the powder blush from Chanel. This is one of those classic pieces. My personal favorite shade is Jersey because it holds so much significance. You might be familiar with the fragrance also named Jersey and where that comes from is because Gabrielle Chanel was one of the first people to ever use Jersey the material in women's fashion. Back during World War II when resources and supplies were very limited, women were still wearing corsets and very formal attire. But Gabrielle Chanel brought Jersey in, started making looser silhouettes, a lot of the modern silhouettes that we see today. She was the pioneer of that and she used jersey which now is so common and you can get jersey dresses and shirts and just about everything comes in jersey it all started with coco chanel the jersey blush is this perfect universal blush that's not too pink it's not too brown it's very universally flattering and it pairs really nicely with a bold red lip so it truly is the perfect chanel blush one of the iconic products that is really synonymous with Chanel Beauty is the eyeshadow Quad. 
but I've added to my list something new and exciting and that is the newly beige eyeshadow palette from Chanel. This is a nine pan palette for $70, which the eyeshadow quads, I believe retail for $61 or $62. So not only is this a great value, but you're going to get the best bang for your buck. This is something that every Chanel lover should own. You have the perfect mix and match of metallic finishes, satins, mattes. You have a beautiful range of light shades, medium, deeper intensity eyeshadows. You can create so many looks with this palette. Everything is very pigmented. It's very blendable, very buttery. I cannot say enough great things about this eyeshadow palette. If this was the only palette from Chanel I could own, I would really be happy. There's not much more you could want. Of course, it doesn't have pops of color, but you're gonna grab for this more often than any of those palettes that have the wild blues or the wild reds. This is truly that wearable, universally flattering palette that everybody should own. The next Chanel Essential has been a top selling SKU for years, and that is the La Volume Mascara. And here I have the new La Volume Revolution Mascara, which is making its way out to department stores. I know it was previously exclusive to Chanel.com, but whether you're doing La Volume or the new La Volume Revolution, you really can't go wrong. This is one of those classic products that really gets you hooked. I think this is sort of the Chanel gateway drug, if you will, because there are people who use this, whether or not they own anything else from Chanel, but the people who use La Volume are loyal to La Volume. That is their go-to mascara and they don't wanna change, they don't wanna try what's new because it works. It is a great mascara. And people ask me all the time what I recommend, what's the best mascara to use? And I have to really make a concerted effort to not always say La Volume. It sort of bores me because I'm always like, well, La Volume, La Volume, La Volume. It's a great, product and it's a really decent price point at $32. It's right in line with every other luxury brand mascara that's currently on the market. If you were going to make your very first Chanel purchase and you didn't want to spend a lot of money, the La Volume Mascara would be the perfect place to begin. But like I said, it might just get you hooked for life. The next Chanel Essential is of course a great red lipstick. There are so many beautiful shades offered by Chanel, but Chanel and red is just sort of the perfect marriage. When I think of an iconic Chanel lipstick, I think of a bold red lip. And there are a lot of great classic shades to choose from. There's Pyrite, Gabrielle, Arthur, Daring Red. They have done a great job of creating a multitude of shades that everybody can find their most flattering shade. So this is the one that I'm wearing today. It's the Rouge Allure number no. one, which was limited edition from two holidays ago. But I would say you don't have to necessarily go with this, but find your perfect red. Go to a Chanel counter, sit down and try them on. Figure out which is your go-to and then pick it up. Whenever women come in and they're looking for the perfect gift for a friend, when husbands are coming in searching for their wives or moms for their daughters, I always suggest a red lipstick from Chanel because it's that one product that it could just be the one lipstick and it will be such a special, meaningful gift because it's so classic and it's so Chanel. Last but certainly not least, the final Chanel essential is the perfect Chanel fragrance. Just like the red lipstick, it doesn't necessarily need to be this red, but it should be the perfect shade of red for you. And it doesn't necessarily have to be gardenia, although that is my personal favorite, but you should find the right Chanel fragrance that fits your personality, that makes you feel beautiful and strong. Scent is something that is so personal and it might take a lot of time before you figure out which is the right fragrance for you, but it is well worth it. It's the most expensive thing on the list, so it's okay if it takes a little bit longer. And perhaps you've smelled a lot of Chanel fragrances and you haven't found the right one. Don't be afraid to try something new. Step out of your comfort zone. Maybe revisit fragrances that you thought you didn't like, but you might be surprised. There's always something new coming out, and I assure you there is a Chanel fragrance for 
everyone. And that completes today's list of the top 10 Chanel Beauty Essentials. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me any of your comments or your questions down below. If you have something that you think deserves to be on this list, drop me a comment so we can keep the conversation going there. As always, I will be linking everything mentioned in the video as well as everything that I used today on my face down in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe.